Hi, this is Laura GB, and in this video, we're looking at the updated Dataverse connector for Power BI. Remember to press subscribe if you haven't already, and let's switch across to my laptop. So here we are in Power BI, and I'm gonna click on the Dataverse button on the home ribbon, and up comes the navigator, showing you your different Dataverse environments. So I am going to expand up the one that's called Laura Graham Brown. It's my community environment. And on the account, I'm just going to pick one table. OK, so we're going to click on account. And in the preview window, we can see um, it's only showing a single row of data. There are more rows that will appear when we go to transform. But we can see at the top there, there are the internal names or the logical names of the columns there. So account ID and category code, etc. So if we click transform data and I'm going to select import for this report and into Power Query and there we are, we can see all the columns that we get and they've all shown their internal names. So what we're going to do is we are going to go and click choose columns and I am going to pick just three columns. So let's unselect them all. I'm going to pick account ID. I'm going to pick name. And then I'm going to do a quick search for state code name. There we go. And then click OK. And there we are. We've got those three columns. So account ID, name, and state code name. Then Let's click close and apply to load that data into Power BI desktop. And just wait a moment while it loads. And there we go. We've got our data. So what we're now going to go and have a look at is on to the data view. And we can see we've got our data there. But if you look, the account column names don't match. So what was account ID, all one word, lowercase, is now account. And what was name is now account name. State code name, though, has changed, has stayed the same. It doesn't have a display name in Dataverse. So therefore, that's what it comes up with. OK. If you had state code, by the way, that would come up as status, which is the one that we're used to seeing in, it's the name that we're used to seeing in Dataverse. But this is the name of that, this is the word version of the numeric column. It has not added into Power Query a rename step. It is all embedded inside this report. So if I go and have a look, one quick way of seeing this is to go into our external tools and go and have a look in Tabular Editor. And what I'm going to do, so inside Tabular Editor, I can expand up the tables, expand up accounts and go and sit on the account column. And you'll see the properties down here below and you will see there are two that grayed out, so they're read only, but there is the source column, account ID, and above it is the name that's being shown. So as part of the model, you can go and find out what the original name was. So given all that, okay, that column names are being changed automatically, we don't have to do that, which is awesome. Not quite the way I expected it to happen, but it's awesome. It's going to save me a lot of work. What's going to happen to my old reports? OK, what's going to happen to my old reports that I've built things on? So if we switch across to another report, OK, this was built in an earlier version of Power BI before July 2022. And it's got the older connector in as part of it. And I've just opened it. I haven't done anything else. If I go onto the home ribbon and I click refresh, OK, so up here we've got an account ID, we've got an account column that's showing these parts, and I've got a status column. The same columns as we had in the previous example. So if I click on refresh, give it a moment to refresh, you'll see that we now have account name as our column heading here and state code name rather than status. Okay, 
and also our measure at the top here of active accounts has also been updated to show those columns again and if I look in the data here we can see we've got account, account name and state code name like in the previous example. Be aware of where you change, which names you change. Some of them will go back into Power Query and some of them won't. And this only works, so this renaming of columns only works if it is a straight pass through. So Power Query loads it and puts it straight into desktop. You do any referencing or anything like that on it, you're going to lose the name changes. So this has been the updated Dataverse connector for Power BI. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.